have team coverage with how the state is preparing and how we're preparing right here at home. I want to kick things off with First Alert meteorologist Jennifer Correa. You have that new 11 o'clock advisory that just came out. What stands out from that one? Well, there are a few things that stand out. So one thing I want to point out are those maximum sustained winds. They've actually increased. It's still the category four, but now it's at uh, the maximum sustained winds now at 150 miles per hour. At 8 a.m., it went down to 145 from 155 earlier in the morning. So there we go. We could be seeing restrengthening happening back to a category five, and it is moving east northeast. Another change here. You notice that speed has slowed down since the last update and the last update had it around 12 miles per hour that uh, has slowed down a little bit uh, but basically Hurricane Milton will continue mainly towards the northeast direction eventually making landfall late Wednesday night uh, landfall could be delayed a little bit more maybe into uh, more like after midnight, just after midnight uh, for the west coast of Florida. Now again, that would be Wednesday going into Thursday. So it would be technically midnight Thursday morning. So overnight hours into Thursday morning dealing with a cat three, then downgrading to a cat two potentially as it moves over parts of central Florida. It's not until later in the afternoon that Milton will exit into that Atlantic Ocean continuing to weaken. So again, we're talking about at least maximum Sustained winds of 125 miles per hour, maybe a little greater than that. You don't, you never want to rule out the fact that it could make landfall as a category four. But in this forecast cone, it should make landfall as a three, then downgrading to a two as we go throughout the morning. So this is going to be an overnight event for much of the state, right? And so we are expecting those strong winds to come into our areas here locally. The strongest winds will be later throughout Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And with that, we have the watches and warnings out there. Hurricane warning in effect for Indian River County. Warnings, including Okeechobee, down through Martin County, St. Lucie County, and Palm Beach County. Those in blues are tropical storm warnings. Just quickly here for today, on and off rain still because of a stall front. But starting tomorrow and going into Thursday, we'll start to get those rain bands, increasing winds with the tornado threat. More on that threat when it comes to severe weather. Francis has that information. Yes. Hey, Jen. So hey. Uh, breaking down like a severe weather threat from each day, starting with today, I have to tell you, if you really need to get a few things done outside, maybe you haven't put up your hurricane shutters yet, especially if you're in Okeechobee and Indian River County, I highly suggest you do so. But uh, for other areas, it's right now not required. But if it Again, makes you sleep better at night than do so. But for today, this is a good day to just check off that to do list. So we're sitting in that uh, just general thunderstorm outlook for the most part today. So we do expect to deal with some rain showers with the threat of seeing a few scattered storms in sight. But Wednesday, that's where you need to be done and ready to go because Wednesday is going to be a Milton impact day. We're in a slight risk. It's a level two out of five on the severe weather scale, but you're going to see your wind damage is going to increase significantly. You're looking at that isolated tornado threat also increasing to about a 10% chance of seeing a weak little spin up move across the area. Now, as far as those threats leading into Thursday, it's a level one out of five. I still expect to see that tornado threat lingering into Thursday and also looking at those strong winds across the area too. As of right now on your radar, we're just dealing with a few light showers across the area. Not really seeing any big storms right now, but we're looking at some rain showers from Fort Pierce down into Vero out towards the tradition in Port St. Lucie area. Uh, that also seeing a few more rain showers near Palm City and Stewart and Port Salerno and dealing with a few more light spotty showers out, out towards Loxahatchee and near Royal Palm and into the downtown West Palm area.